Good afternoon and welcome to another Beatty Golf Club review. I'm Martin Beatty, head professional at Crompton and Royton Golf Club and today I'm going to discuss the benefits of semi-adjustable drivers, specifically the draw type. Now these two drivers I've got today are probably the industry's leading draw bias drivers. I've got the Ping G Series SF Tech and the brand new 2017 TaylorMade N2 D Type. To make the test quite fair, I've got a similar sort of loft, 10 to 10 and a half, and I've got stiff shafts in both, sort of the stock stiff shaft option, so I've not tinkered with them too much. Re the reason why we call them semi-adjustable is because you can only adjust the loft on the loft sleeve, so the tailor may goes up and down two degrees, and the pin goes up and down one degree. Uh, but again, for this test, I'm gonna leave them both on more or less standard 10, 10 and a half loft. The reason why we have, or why the industry and the, and the manufacturers are producing draw type drivers is not everyone wants fully adjustable. Um, you see in the TaylorMade M1 which I've tried a few weeks ago, you've got the, the launch track at the back there that you can uh, distribute the weight front to back of the crown and also the, um, the face slot te technology where you can adjust the weight right over the face lock there to encourage a draw or a bias um, style shot. This one's pretty much does as it says on the tin apart from the loft sleeve. So what they've done instead of making that adjustability in the head is increase the weight more in the heel of the club. So you see this little weight here on the SF Tech, it's a little bit towards the back and towards the heel of the club this side here. Same with the tailor made. Very very similar sort of products here, very similar um, very similar feel drive, very similar look to them. And what that's gonna do is without too much adjustability, it's gonna naturally promote a more draw shape. I found myself last year, I sold maybe 60, 70% of the drivers I sold were draw bias. It's for people who battle against a fade shot, a left to right of your right hander, obviously the opposite of your left hander. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the look of these drivers. You'll see on the overhead shots there that uh, they're very, very neat behind the ball. Um, the difference between the tailor made this year and last year is that they've extended the sort of paintwork here at the top. So if you can see there, it sort of branches out a little bit to the right there, more, more on the crown, which, which really does enable the club to sit a little bit squarer behind the ball. I felt last year on the M2 and the M1 models, this paint sort of went straight up here and it gave the appearance of sat a little bit too shut in some, uh, in some uh, occurrences. But this one does look a little bit better because of that feature looking down from the top. Again, it's got more 30% more carbon in the crown, which is going to increase the forgiveness because you're enabled then to increase the size of the crown without increasing the CC. Um, and the ping features here, it's got this Dragonfly technology. Uh, together with the turbulators on top. It's all to do with aerodynamics with the Ping G series. Um, they, they do a lot of measuring in wind tunnels where they get the sort of the wind uh, and the flow of the air rushing over the club head here. And what they've done is develop these turbulators technology for enabling the club head to skate, stay a lot squarer through impact, therefore enable the SF technology, the draw bias technology to work for them. What I want to do now is hit a few shots for you. I want to talk about the feel. So I'm going to start with the tailor-made first. So I'll tightly probe probably one balls, just to keep it consistent. Stiff shaft, we've got the first of Crompton and right, we've got three sixteenths of the green. I'm hoping to carry this at about 270, 280. I just want to test the technology of the draw. just kicking in and not enabling me to get a shot right. Very 
very good. Again, it's gone absolutely arrow straight down the middle. I felt the head a little bit more in this one because I think the shaft's a little bit lighter than the tailor-made stock shaft. This uh, SF Tech shaft here is 55 grams, so I was able to feel a little bit more head weight in the, in the gold. Put it one more for you. As far as feel goes, they're both very, very good products. Looks behind the ball. Do I prefer the ping? Maybe just edges the tailor made M2 at this stage, and uh, that's because I can see a little bit of more loft on the club face. I like the look of the turbulators that you see behind the ball. Looks like a mean looking driver. Um, technology works on both of them, so if you are struggling with the left to right shot, the slice off the tee, make sure you have a look first at getting a D type driver or a tailor made. Ping SF Tech. Uh, the most important thing about this is make sure you go and get fitted off your local PGA Pro. Thanks for watching. Like your video, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.